today I'm going to be showing you guys the haul slash review first impressions of the new Mimi Box slash Pony collection they've come out with. So the collection's called Shine Easy Glam 3, it's a floral affair, and basically what it is is Pony partnering with Mimi Box to come out with a spring collection. Now if you don't know who Pony is, Pony is a Korean beauty blogger. She has a lot of makeup tutorials online. She has that really cute Ul Jong look and she just has a lot of really great tips. To kind of clarify the elephant in the room, I am totally aware that my face is a completely different color than the rest of my body. I have right now self tanner on. Um, it's summer where I live and it doesn't look very good to have a pale body in a bikini and I've been going to the beach lately so instead of tanning my skin, which is bad for your skin, having any type of sun exposure is bad for your skin. I choose to use self tanner, but it takes a couple days to wash off. Now that I've got the elephant out of the room and I've kind of called myself out, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this review is going to be a little bit different than reviews I've done in the past. Um, it's also kind of a haul, so how I'm doing this is obviously I don't really have any makeup on, I just have my foundation and my eyebrows filled in basically. And so I'm going to be live demoing the products so you guys can see how the products work on my skin, how they look, how they work, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump into what we're going to be doing today. Let's just talk about the packaging first. Of course the packaging is really gorgeous. I posted a picture on my Instagram and if you're not following my Instagram you should definitely go follow it and all of my other social media. But this got so many likes because obviously the packaging is gorgeous. Um, one thing that I can tell right off the bat when I received this package was Mimi Wax is definitely trying to up their cosmetic game. I definitely feel like they're not just kind of using the you know notoriety of Pony to be selling products. They're actually creating a line that has quality products, quality packaging. Packaging. You can just tell from the box itself that the packaging is actually really substantial and nice. So the product is definitely going to be high quality and really nice to use. So. Awesome. I love this packaging. I think it looks so classy, it looks so beautiful, and I just, I really dig it. So inside has four different colors and a huge mirror. These eyeshadows, I've tried them out once before. They're very, very smooth, velvety, pigmented, awesome. So let's go ahead and start the demo so you guys can see live how these work. Hello there! So you guys are super close to my face now, and what I'm going to do is just prime my eyes with a little bit of eyeshadow primer, starting off with this shimmery champagne color up here in the top corner and this is in glam fair brown i don't know why they call it brown to be completely honest because obviously it's like a champagne gold color i'm just going to apply that to my eyelid i'm just going to pack this color on so there's definitely a bit of fallout but so far so good this color is absolutely gorgeous it's honestly just kind of a gold glitter i don't know if you guys can see that there's not too much pigment to it um, it's just basically glitter. Focus camera. So, yeah. So next I'm going to go ahead and move on to this amber color. It is called Shine Brown, which is in this corner right here. Just swirl in my brush. This one doesn't seem to have as much glittery fallout. I'm just going to blend this into my crease. The cat's going crazy over there. So you can definitely see that the color payoff is very nice and it applies very smoothly. It's just super, super glittery. Nice! So I do like that color. Um, I wish it were a little bit more pigmented instead of just straight glittery, but I still think it's really pretty. So next I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette, which is Shine Midnight Brown, which is this dark shimmery chocolate color. I'm just going to apply this to my eye. This color is awesome. I can just tell right off the bat I really like it. And it really complements because all of these have a nice gold glitter to it, like a gold shine. Zoom in so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay. And then I'm going to take that last eyeshadow color, which is the least shimmery of all four, this one right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my brow bone. kind of live demo of the eyeshadow color so you guys can see the pigmentation of it, how they work on the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and finish off the rest of my eye makeup, apply eyeliner, mascara, all that stuff, and I'm going to get back to you so we can start looking at the lipstick. So now we're going 
go ahead and move on to the four lipsticks of the collection. I do have all four, so let's go ahead and talk about the packaging of the lipsticks first. So again, they do come in these cute floral boxes. The lipsticks themselves come in a white tube, like this, with Pony's name on the front. And you can see that each lipstick has the shade number on the back, which is convenient because if you're like me and find it really inconvenient to be shuffling through lipstick tubes and opening them all up to see what shade you have, it's nice to see what it is before actually having to ruffle through all of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first lipstick, which is number one, Rose Garden. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can get a better look. So that's what the number one rose garden looks like. As you can see, it is a little bit more of a drier texture. It seems to be on the matte side. I don't know if that's how the lipsticks are supposed to be, but in my opinion, they seem fairly matte. You can see that it was actually very easy to apply, went smoothly onto my lips, doesn't emphasize too many cracks, and actually it makes my lips look pretty healthy. So the next lipstick shade we're going to be looking at is number two, number 02, Spring Romance. Now I'm seeing that this is actually a semi-matte type. The first one that I just tried out was also semi-matte type, so that must be what they're categorizing them as. They're not necessarily matte and not necessarily shiny, so that's what I picked up on immediately. pretty nice again it feels very comfortable and it's not overly matte but it's also like not a really satiny lipstick so I think overall I really like it another thing that I want to say is that I was kind of intimidated by applying these lipsticks without a lip liner but I have to say the actual application of lipstick is really accurate you can see um, I didn't have too much of a hard time staying in my lip line so that's also really cool about these lipsticks on to the third lipstick of the collection which is in number 03 orange Delilah I'm sorry orange Dahlia and this is a glossy type of lipstick. definitely tell that this is a lot easier to apply than the matte lipsticks because it's a glossy type of lipstick which tends to slide and glide on the lips a lot easier. This color is awesome. As you can see, this might be close to one of my favorite lipsticks of this collection and it just looks really nice, makes my lips look really healthy. It's an awesome coral color that I think would go well with every skin. Right, so now we have the last lipstick of the collection which is number 04 Blooming Love and this is a glossy type of lipstick as well. A bright pink color it's like Nicki Minaj lipstick it almost looks lilac in the film the viewfinder that I can see but actually in real life it looks a little bit more pink but it's still very very bright so overall I have to say with the collection as a whole I really really love the colors and I love the packaging I love the formulations of all the products I have to say my favorite lipsticks were the number 03 orange Dahlia and the second one which is in the shade Spring Romance, which was that dark burgundy color. Anyway, so I hope that was helpful for any of you guys who were looking to buy any of the products in that Pony Mini Box collaboration collection. If you guys do end up buying any of the products, let me know if you like them or what you think of them as well. I'd love to hear down below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And let me know if you guys kind of like this format of reviewing products with a demo in it as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so today I am filming a video for you guys to basically explain a very, very basic five-step skincare routine. So this is based off Korean ideas as far